Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Maker. Last time we began 3DS content. We started the Super Mario Challenge. We cleared the first world after like a 48 minute recording that I still haven't edited. And uh, well, this episode we're going to be doing World 2. Hopefully it doesn't take double that, so what would that be, 80 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes? Oh god, please no. So without any further ado, I'm gonna go as quickly as possible, just in case it takes a little while. So we cleared, oh, there's stuff on the bottom screen. Again, hopefully I can configure that to pop it up on the actual screen, because I don't want to have two screens on this one. All right, you cleared the first world, way to go. As a reward, you've been granted permission to use the bridge and Lakitu course elements. Also, yes, if you missed the last episode, uh, basically, uh, the course maker in this game, you earn the course elements by taking on the Super Mario Challenge. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Each time you clear a world, you will get more course elements to use in course creation. New course elements can open up a whole new world of course variety, so be sure to try them out. And keep playing to get even more elements to use. The key point of World One was get you for it was to get me familiar with basic controls. Underwater courses. Oh God. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's go to World Two. Looks a lot grassy. <laughs> more grassy compared to World One. Get at least five lives using a superstar and reach the goal. Okay. Oh god, we're actually under water here. Um. Well, clearly these are marked off for something. Oh god. Oh, I see what we have to do. I see what we need to do. We need to keep collecting stars in order to chain this. Okay, I see. Come on. Come here, little Goomba. Come here. All right, that was probably a little bit of a waste there. Come on. Go all the way over here. Come on. All right, go down. All right, there's got to be, like, a big number of enemies at the end so I can do this properly, right? Like, they wouldn't just do this challenge and then, like, screw you over. I think. Oh, please. Okay, there we go. Come on. There's nice, like, pixel art here at the very end, but, I mean, it's just, like, a complete waste of time. My star ran out?! Are you serious? Oh my god. Now I have to do that all over again? I... Alright, you should probably know by now if you've watched videos a long time, for a long... Well, that kind of ruins the... If you've watched videos for a while, you probably know that I record videos with the volume very low in my ears, so I can't really hear the superstar music and then be able to chain that, so I need to just, like, go, 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 med- no, come on. At least they, uh, at least the, uh, points chain. That's good. Right, come on. Go down. I also need to keep track of lives, because if I get, like, a life, I can just go. Alright, the next one is a one-up. Next one is for sure a one-up. Alright, go. Go on, grab star. Okay. Alright, I got one life. Oh god. Well, I didn't do it. I think I got like three li Oh, wait, I got... No, that was from the flag. I think I got three lives. At least five? You really need to, like, step up your motion then. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try this again. So... Okay, you also cannot destroy this first Goomba right here. Because this pays a pivotal role in your, um... Come on, yes, over here. No, uh, 
Ooh, that was very close, because this one pays a pivotal role in your points. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see how to do this now. I also need to hit my markers for the star. All right, there we go. Drag that one along. Go. 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 No. Oh, no. Come on, grab it. Oh, my God. Go, 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 go. Oh god, I didn't, I didn't get it, I think. I got four lives. I should have won up a little bit, just to be sure. I think I got four lives. Also, I can always pause to see how much I got. Oh my god, I actually did it! Wow. Defeat all Goombas by jumping on them? Oh, so literally they just have to run into your feet then. Oh, that shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, the very end will be difficult, especially because we only have one hit. Oh, actually, yeah, that might be... That might be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, that this shouldn't be too difficult, right? Like, all I need to do is jump on them. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. Come here, little Goomba. You need to come over here. There we go. Alright, this isn't too bad. Oh, this is a little... Okay. I got it. Yeah, I got that one. By jumping on them. So, this can be done. Come here. I literally need to drag this one. Are you kidding? I pressed A too much and then... <sighs> also, doing this mission gave me a lot of lives, so now I have a lot of lives to work with, so... I guess that's a plus. I this episode's literally gonna last like 40 minutes, just like the last one. Isn't it? <sighs> oh god, that nearly killed me. Okay. Like, there's Mario pixel art, there's... Goombas, stars, like, it's really nice. Here we go. Alright, come here, Goombi. Goombi the Goombi Goom Goom Goom. Alright. I can't get stuck on that, uh, on that one. Come here. Come here. Come on. You too. Come here. You too. Come on. Alright, the challenge is gonna be this one. This is gonna be the tough one. Hello, come on. Oh god. Oh god. So first they need to lose their wings. Hello, come here. Oh, this isn't too bad. I just need to get them away from their clutter as it is right now. So you, come here. See me? Yes. I need to get this one to, like... There we go. Man, this is so tough. This is tough. This should be the last one though, right? Right? That should have been the last one? Top of the flagpole? Come on, please. That should have counted. Like, I know this is underwater, but I literally did stomp every single one. Please tell me I didn't miss a Goomba. <laughs> there we go, we did it, okay. Oh my god. Oh, <sighs> okay. We can move on to stage two now. <laughs> oh lord. Defeat at least 10 enemies using the tail and reach the goal. Ooh, we get the tail. Oh, yes. I'm excited. I am excited. Here we go. 
This is gonna be fun. I think Chain Chomps count for this, too. Also, I need to... I need you to come over here so I can do this. Also, not be able to... There we go. That. This should be tail, right? Yep. Come here. That's one. Alright. Come here, chain jumps. This is gonna be so challenging. Come here. Come on. A star? What would I... Oh, this is to mess you up. I see how, what you're doing, game. I'm not falling for it. I'm not gonna fall for it. Okay. Oh, snap. I fell for it. <laughs> what? How did that hit me? Oh, my God. Well, I failed. Unless there's a tail in one of these, I have failed. Please give me a tail, please give me- Oh my god. Please? <laughs> and then I've- Oh, those enemies respawn, too! Okay, so this- this first one's fairly easy. I just need to, like, not be a doofus and not fail it. This first one's pretty easy, which means the second one is probably gonna be very di the pro- the second one's probably gonna be, like, defeat no enemies. Watch. The second one's probably gonna be beat no enemies. And I'm gonna cry because I won't be able to do that because I just, like, can't. Alright, that's one. You can just fall off the edge there. That's one. Okay. Alright. Oh, I've, I've done five. Okay. Why can't I press B to close that menu? That, like, scares me. Alright, you can just fall. You just fall. Thank you. Can I defeat you with a... Or you can take me out instead with the... Okay. Alright. Great. I didn't want to, you know... Alright, I literally have to do it this way. Come here, chompy. Yeah, I can take you out. Okay. Alright, we're in business. We are in business. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, I've defeated twelve. Okay, that shouldn't rhyme like that. But hey, it did. Oh, hey. there's Oh, there's even three more past the- Wow. That is a lot of enemies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so now I need to wait for this to uncover itself. Wait for that to do that. There we go. Alright, go down the pipe. And there we go, that's these... There we go, we finished the stage, finally. It's been so long since i played Mario Maker, I, need, I really need to get used to it. But there we go, defeat at least 10 enemies with the tail. Defeat all chain chomps using tail to reach the goal. Oh my god, we actually did it! Oh, sweet! I don't have to go back into the stage now! I can just move on! Alright, stage 3, world 2, here we come! Let's see what we gotta do. Open at least one key door and then reach the goal. Take the goal. Open one key door, then reach the goal. Hmm. Okay. I'm a little... I'm a little nervous about this. Like, what is it gonna have me do? Hey, no, no, let's not do that. Uh, okay. At least open one key door. And where... Where would this key door be? Because this literally looks like 1-2 underground right now. So where... Where would the key door be? Hmm. 
where... Maybe one of those pipes back there has something for me? Okay, this one does. Okay. I checked the middle one, but not the other one. Whoa, what? Oh, that just leads me right here. Okay, yay, I just did a loop-de-loop -loop for no reason. <laughs> All right, good times. Okay. Uh, so... I can head up... Oh, hello? Oh, God. Um... Okay, let's go for number two. Oh. Well, all right, we got a key. <laughs> that was easy. Watch the other one be do something. I don't know. Three different key... Watch the other one be something with key doors. Watch. All right, there we go. How would you... Oh, no, I think I know what it is. I think it does involve the key doors, though. Open three key doors, then reach... Th so that one warp pipe must lead back. Because there's no other way you can do this. There's no other way you can do that without going back through a warp pipe near the exit. That literally what has to... That literally has to be it. Oh, that warp pipe probably leads right to this beginning part, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh my god, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. I think I- I think I solved the riddle. I think I solved it. So, I need to literally do this stage, like, kind of like three times, except not. That warp pipe has to lead to the one thing. So, I'm gonna start at number four just because that's the farthest one, and then I can just go to three and then to two. Right, that war that warp pipe has to lead, right? Oh, hey. Uh... <laughs> Immediately get the key from Lakitu. That was, like, the easiest one. Right, this warp pipe here has to lead to the very beginning, right? Right, you can't tell me it doesn't. Oh, it leads- okay, that's even better than the beginning, because I can literally just do this over and over. Does this lead to anything? No, you can't interact with that? All right, well, here we go. Uh, warp pipe three. Let's see what you got. Open all the key doors. Oh, the key's literally just out in the- The other one, I think, is easier, except, like, because you only have to defeat Lakitu, but it seems easier than the ones that are the keys being out in the open. That might be just me, though. All right, one more to do, and that's the one we beat the stage with originally. Option number two for the warp pipes. So let's head over. Let's head down. And let's do this all over again. <laughs> let's get a free, easy key. There we go. In the box. And yeah. Actually, technically all three of them were easy. I just consider the one with Lakitu easier. All right. Oh, I messed that up. But, oh, nope, can't salvage it anymore. I got my one up here originally, though, so I'll take it. Opened all three key doors. Right, there were only three key doors. Watch, there have been a fourth one somewhere, randomly. Uh, open three key doors. There we go. Yes, we did it. And now we can move on to the final stage of World 2. Oh man, I'm at, this is going a lot better than World 1. And now everything goes down from here. Reach the goal while carrying a P-switch. Uh, okay. Oh, Super Mario World. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I- yeah, this is like the only stage they could have done that with, too. This is the only stage they could have done this with. Every- or, uh, the new Super Mario Bros. U style. Which they still classify it as Super Mario Bros. U, even though it's clearly, uh, the graphics for, uh, Mario Bros. 
2, uh, new Super Mario Bros. 2. I need to just run instead of focusing on things. Uh... Oh my god, that could have ended badly just now. Go, go. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. I think I... Wait. Okay, that drops a piece, which I was gonna say. Am I gonna have to use this one? But no. We can use one dropped from the heavenly skies. Oh my god! Oh my god. That is a... That's a little freaky. Okay, here we go. I love the rainbow effect. I love it. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? The fire at the very end from Bowser's what does me in. Are you serious? I have to, I have to do this all over again. <laughs> Hasta la vista, Bowser. I completely jumped over that. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool that I was able to do that. I thought I wasn't going to be able to jump off the snake block, but hey, I did it. Brought the P-Switch to the goal. Please award me, because the P-Switch doesn't come with me, so... There we go, we did it. Alright, what's... While carrying a shell? There's a shell, like, right at the very end. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is gonna be... This is the one that's gonna get me. What did I unlock? Rocky Wrench and Cloud Block. Why does it say that when I do start over? That doesn't make sense to me. Alright, well, here we go. Let's do it again. I'll meet you at the very end, because this is just tedious at this point. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. That was a hassle and a half. Not a Hasselhoff, but a hassle and a half. Literally, you need to do the same thing as the first mission, which is carry another P-Switch, and then right at the very ending sequence, you need to use that P-Switch you carried, like, all the way to the end again, then press it, then be able to grab the shell, like, step on the Koopa, grab the shell, and hopefully not get hit by a fireball or Bowser being jumping in the air, and then reach the goal. That was... Oh my goodness, that was just so... So stressful. Anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Super Mario Maker. Next time, we will advance to World 3, continuing our trek in order to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser. So with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.